All right, what's going on, you fam? For you didn't hear, so we got the social media video for the next LF. It sounds like I don't know. They're saying that there's only going to be one new character. Uh, I didn't even start the video. I just wanted to go ahead and save this. But let's go ahead and see what we got. My hope is that they're buffing up a tag that isn't already getting buffed. I know it's a Nemesis campaign, but all the other campaigns that they've done uh, outside of the Majin Buu saga, it kind of feels like we've never seen a premium villain. So, uh, you know, from the Frieza saga, no new Frieza. From the Cell saga, no new Cell. I'm not really counting the free-to-play ones. So I'm thinking maybe they just scooted them over to this Nemesis campaign. Maybe we see like a Turlis. Maybe we see uh, Rosé, maybe. Just because we're very close to anniversary would be the biggest bait. Let's see what we get. What do you got for us, Legends? One by one, fearsome Nemesis are coming to Dragon Ball Legends. What the hell is that? Oh my god, is this GT? Is that Trunks? It's Trunks! <laughs> Whoa, that was really well animated, actually. Whoa! That's a very good looking... Oh my god, that means it's Super Baby, isn't it? That means it has to be baby. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Of course, dude. First of all, this OST is fire. So that was a cover change. Chainable with a blue ultimate. Oh, he goes great ape. Yo, they're doing the Great Ape LF again. Very cool. So what does he do? Is it the giant death ball or... Oh, Gallic Gun. You couldn't have made this easier for me. That's cool. Uh, okay. Okay, number one. We're buffing GT again? They, they just finished their campaign a month ago. That's a little bit weird to me. Uh, just because, I, I'll be honest with you, I would have preferred if some other tags got some buffs right now. Like, LOE in its pure form is in the mud. Vegeta Clan is still bad. Uh, although, granted, this is a Nemesis campaign. I just think some other villains could have been buffed again. I don't know. A little bit weird. I just think that, uh, you know, GT hasn't seen buffs in like a year plus for last year prior to their campaign. So, I guess it's deserved. Um, but... I'm starting to get concerned that they are rapidly becoming this year's universe reps because uh, Super 17 is arguably the best unit in the game. The only tank in the game is Spirit Bomb Goku. One of the best LF Zenkais is G4. Uh, it's starting to get a little spooky here. Six year anniversary Ultra is pointing towards an Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Uh, and that's only half the year. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I, I think GT is rapidly becoming this year's universe reps. Uh, but conveniently, we also have the kit. So we'll just quickly navigate over there. Okay, here we go. Legends Limited Super Baby 2 abilities. If we are going to be getting a baby, at least I'd like him to be someone that helps shake up the meta a little bit. Uh, what is the most dominant thing right now? It's Sun Family slash Saiyans. The most notable being a blue, green, yellow setup so i guess i guess uh if baby was purple although they just got bulla i guess a, a dominant purple unit and i guess yellow as a secondary choice would be what i'm okay with but but purple primarily for gohan and goku bardock let's see what we do uh with impressive abilities to stop opponent <laughs> It's the year of the countering crap. With impressive abilities to stop opponents' combos and inflict massive damage with type neutral, Legends Limited Super Baby 2 joins the fight. Oh boy, you already can't blast card Super 17. I swear to God, if this guy becomes a strike counter, I'm going to be very upset. 
Strength number one, stop combos and then unleash this character's true potential for revenge. The unique gauge charges up when taking, oh, is he defense type? The unique gauge charges when taking attacks. When the unique gauge fills up, destroy two enemy cards, reduce your enemy's key by 50, and on top of that, seal their main ability. This will help you get a to uh, put a stop to your enemy's combos. Very reminiscent to Sword of Hope Trunks. Uh, well, actually, this sounds more like an upgraded version of that because Trunks is only going to be taking away your key. But sealing your main, taking away key, and destroying some cards. Yeah, I, I think they'll do a good job of stopping enemy combos. When the unique gauge is full, reduce the enemy's vanish gauge to 0% and draw a blue card. Blue cards will get an amazing power up when the unique gauge is full, nullifying unfavorable element factors and endurance effects. Okay, so his blue card nullifies endurance only after a full unique gauge? Uh, unique gauge taking away enemies vanish. A little bit niche scenario just because um, if you're in a situation where it's a 1v1 and your gauge hasn't procced, first of all, that's probably not even a good way to use baby's gauge, but two, that at least puts things into your favor. And I guess, you know, with Beast Gohan existing and a lot of units being able to get their vanish back, that could be... May not be the strongest gauge, so maybe I'm worried a little bit too early. Uh, strike number two. Turn strike or blast arts into a combo and deal some serious damage. Start off with strike and arts blast to nullify enemy special cover changes and increase your crit rate. Uh, this sounds just like the spirit bomb kid Goku. A lot of units seem to be having, you get five Five timer counts of cover nullification when you use a strike or blast. Very easy to waste, because if you're in neutral playing ground and you have to engage, the five timer count starts there and then. Um, but if you're a unit where your opponent gets priority and then jumps into this unit, then it becomes super strong. I don't understand why he has crit rate up by 60% though. We don't have a lot of units right now in the meta that take away crit rate. Uh, just because the last time crit rate actually mattered was Super Saiyan Bardock and he's long dead. So I, this feels a little unnecessary. Uh, <clears throat> plus, if your enemy switches characters, you'll get a huge, bust, a huge boost to damage inflicted by strike slash blast stars. And you'll be able to draw up to two cards if you have three or fewer. Oh... That's where the combo potential happens. So he has cover null for five timer counts and he's able to draw more cards every time you swap out. Ugh. You getting more cards in a combo when your opponent swaps out is one of my favorite mechanics. Just because if you time a good drop combo, you're rewarded pretty well. You'll be amazed at the amount of damage you can dish out after an enemy character switches. If there's one defeated battle member, Arts Cardinal Speed will increase by an additional level for a level of for a total of two levels. So he has permanent card draw speed. That's kind of a given. And if there are two defeated battle members, then on top of that, your own unfavorable element factors will be nullified. So he goes permanently type neutral as last man standing. If you combine this character with key blast absorbing, oh god, <laughs> with key blast absorbing Super 17 in a GT or a powerful opponent party, you'll have yourself a combination that can stop any opponent in their attack, in their tracks. Strike fear into the hearts of your opponents with Legends Limited Super Baby 2, the vengeful evil life form. Yeah, see, this is weird to me. It, it the the priority is GT again. Why are we buffing GT again after just finishing their campaign? Ah, uh, I don't know. I I feel like we could have had some other tags getting this. LOE is the most notable one because <laughs> LOE is in the mud, dude. Oh, he's yellow. Okay. That that would have been my secondary option. Okay, I'll t I'll take that yellow. Not bad. Um. Okay, GT, so Pan is gone. Uh, LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku is now the bench. Ooh. But then that hurts Super 17, who's a blast oriented unit, so. Huh. Okay. Saiyan Transforming Warrior Regen, GT Merging, Powerful Opponent, Episode Super Baby Saga. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta be a little bit confusing for GT setups, I guess, but no big deal. Main ability, reduce your enemies' Dragon Balls by one and cancel their attribute upgrades so you can withstand their attacks. Randomly destroy one of your own cards and draw the ultimate arts card, Revenge Death Ball. You didn't, wait, what? You didn't do the Revenge Death Ball? Oh, I know, I'm thinking the LF, never mind. Uh, restore on health by 25% and key by 50, minus 5 to own arts cost for 30 counts, reduce enemy Dragon Ball by one, 
cancel enemy attribute upgrades. Uh, it's a pretty plain main ability. Get the card, heal, key, some buff, whatever. Z ability is 38% to tag GT, powerful opponent, or regeneration, strike, and blast defense. He's a double defense Z ability. Why are they? <laughs> okay. This is, <laughs> this is so funny to me. So GT right now, if you think about their main star lineup, how many of them are double defense? The Spirit Bomb Kid Goku, G4, and now odds are this baby, you have three double defense Z abilities. What is going on here? They don't need this anymore. Stop giving them double defense. That's way too many. Holy crap. I guess if you're going to be running Super 17, G4, and this guy with the Spirit Bomb Kid Goku as a potential fourth, then LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to be your bench, which gives you uh, the 37% strike uh, before Saiyans. Oh, actually, that's everybody, so that's 55%. And then I guess you'd probably run an HP character. This is this is so funny to me. They're now three defense ability units. I don't know. GT is going to be super tanky. Strike guards. The strike guards come with blast armor. Yes. So you can go on the attack without worrying about your opponent's blasts. Unless you're Gohan. Although, not an effect on this character strikes generally. Super Baby 2 possesses a strike card that reduces your enemy's health restored by 20%. Don't forget that since it's a held card, that means other characters can use it too. Damn, dude. We just got around to properly having defensive characters and we're snuffing it already. Part of the reason why characters like Raccoon, Spirit Bomb Kid Goku, Android 16, the reason why they're able to sustain themselves as well as they can is because they heal a portion every time they get smacked, but we're already snuffing that out, apparently. Like, I know Super 17 does it by default, and now he's going to have an extra 20%. Nobody's healing anything, and Super 17 is probably going to be able to combo endurance characters down to one health. That's crazy. I, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. I They're kind of just sprinkling buffs for no reason, but okay. Uh, blast card, just like the strike cards, this character also has a blast card that will reduce enemy health restore. Okay, that hurts a lot. Um, blue card, if activated when the unique gauge is full, this super powered special move will nullify unfavorable element factors and endurance effects. On hit, it will obscure all enemy cards for five timer counts, putting your opponent in a bind. I knew this was going to come back. Ah, oh, when you least expect it, they bring back Obscure. The last time we saw this was on uh, Captain Ginyu, the Purple Revival one's blue card. Ah, oh, they brought it back. Damn it. And they gave it on a premium, premium character. So, blue card. Deal massive impact damage. 50% to blue card damage inflicted for three timer counts upon activation. Obscure all enemy cards for five timer counts on hit. All arts cards are turned face down for the effect duration and their positions are shuffled. That's new. This wasn't a description before. I guess they're adding that now to be more um, explicit. If the unique gauge is full, resets own unique gauge to zero and applies the following effects to self upon activate. His unique gauge goes back to zero. So it's not like Sword of Hope Trunks. It's just a defense type unique gauge. Whoa. Whoa, didn't it's wait a minute. It takes away vanish. I assume it only happens once, right? Okay. If the unique gauge is full when you use the blue card, it resets to zero. You get another 20% of the blue card damage inflicted. You go type neutral and you nullify endurance. That's a very hard-hitting blue card. 70% blue card damage? That's like Red Beast Gohan levels of power. But the unique gauge is super interesting now. Green card. This special arts allows you to counter your enemy's melee tap actions or strike arts. When the counter activates, you'll nullify enemy special cover changes and you'll draw new cards if you have to be or fewer. Your enemy's key will take a hit and your own unfavorable element factors will be nullified just by activating this counter. So go for it as much as you can without fear. I remember somebody made a tweet a long time ago saying what would it take for LFGB to become like a really good unit and I remember I said in the green card give him an ultimate draw and he goes type neutral 
and at the time people felt that was way too over tuning and he'd be one of the best units in the game it's kind of funny seeing this now be uh sprinkled everywhere so baby will counter have cover null and go type neutral and draw several cards on a counter that's crazy so let's see the following effects occur upon activation so you're not even landing the counter you restore your health by 15 percent key by 50 20 percent to damage inflicted 15 counts you go type neutral for 10 counts and you reduce the enemy key by 60. Counter will activate upon enemies' melee tap actions or strike arts while in fighting pose. So it's just like Orange Piccolo. It's not going to work on a ranged tap attack, but it will work on a tap, you know, like the close range tap attack or strike arts. Okay. Plus the full effects when the activate when the counter activates. Uh, randomly draw at most three new cards if you have three or fewer. Cover nullification for five counts, and you can combo strike blast special move ultimate. Big ol' yikes. Ultimate. Restore your vanish gauge by 100% on activation. Not only will this ultimate arts help you get ready for enemy counter attacks, but if you activate it while the unique gauge is full, you'll get a huge boost to ultimate damage inflicted. And inflict all enemies with no switching. Take aim with the revenge death ball and destroy your foe. What? Deals massive explode damage. Upon activation, restore your vanish 100%, 50% to alt damage inflicted, minus 20% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. Uh, nullifies endurance, but if the unique gauge is full, it'll reset to zero. 70% to alt damage inflicted for three timer counts. Whoa. That is a lot. 70%? Inflict all enemies with no switching, and you got Blast Armor. Wait, Blast Armor is only available when the Unique Gauge is full? Nah, no, that doesn't make any sense. I'm pro it's probably the way that they formatted the text. Okay, that's very strong. A nice little lock-in. So just like our good friend LF Namikoku. Unique Gauge is full, nice little lock-in. Now, we haven't even gotten into the Unique Abilities. I'll, I'll try to speed it up. If there's even one defeated battle member, Arts Control Speed will increase by an additional level for a total boost of two levels. And if there are two defeated battle members, then on top of that, your own unfavorable element factors will be nullified. Plus, each time you use a Strike or Blast, nullify enemy special cover change and increase your crit rate. The key reduction and destroy card effects that activate when entering the battlefield will put a damper in your enemy's ability attack, giving you a chance to string together a combo and deal some serious damage. Don't forget, if your opponent is a Sand, then your allies get a 30% buff to damage inflicted. Ooh! 30% to damage inflicted by allies against Tag Sand. Damn, dude. They literally just... Is GT now just better than uh, the Sun Family version? I think so. 30% damage inflicted by allies against Sands. That's a lot. So Super 17 will shred Ultra UI. He's now going to shred Goku and Bardock. Damn. What Saiyans are people even going to use anymore? Super Vegeta is definitely shredded too. That's crazy. So I think... Does this make GT the best team in the game now? I think this puts GT as the best team in the game now. Applies the formal effects when battle starts. 100% damage inflicted. 70% reduced damage received. Card draw speed. 70% to cube recovery. I don't understand why they have that. Minus 10 to special move costs. Uh, I guess it's because the only place where he has arts card uh, cost reduction is his main. The following effects occur when this character enters the field. Randomly draw one new card. Pretty strong, especially with card draw speed. Restore on health by 15% key by 20. Wow, 15% healing when he shows up on the field. So they definitely want him to be a tanky guy. 80% to damage inflicted. Randomly destroy one enemy card and take away 20 key. So is he a defense type unit? This kind of reads as a defense type unit. Uh, based off the unique gauge and the healing. Also applies the following effects to self based on the number of defeated battle members. If one ally is defeated, you go type neutral for damage sustained for 10 timer counts and you have another level of card draw speed. If you're last man standing, uh, you go type neutral for 10 timer counts and your card draw speed level is increased by 1 for 15 counts. Pretty strong. Uh, applies the following effects to self every time this character uses a strength or blast arts card. 20% to damage inflicted? Damn, they gave him Ultra UI's ability. 20% to damage inflicted for 5 counts. 20% damage inflicted with a crit rate buff. 
Wow, what are they thinking? What is this? I feel like what is this is a, is a term I should put on a t-shirt. What is this? 20% damage buff with crit rate? Holy. This guy has easy ways of going type neutral too, so that means he's going to hurt. Activation count resets after character switches, and there's that five timer counts of um, cover known like the Spirit Bomb Kid Goku. Already a super strong passive one. Unique 2. This character has a special cover change against strike arts. If the unique gauge... Uh, the unique gauge charges when taking attacks, and when it fills up, you'll destroy two enemy cards, reduce enemy key by 50, and on top of that, seal their main ability. These powerful abilities will help you put a stop to your enemy's combos. Additionally, when the unique gauge is full, reduce the enemy's vantage gauge to 0%, and draw a special move card. The special move card will gain unfavorable element factor and endurance effect nullification when the unique gauge is full, so this effect will make it easier to pull off a hit. Also, if your enemy switches characters while Super Baby 2 is on the field, the card draw speed will be reduced, and this character will get a huge boost to strike and blast arts cost damage inflicted. On top of that, you'll draw new cards if you have three or fewer, giving you the chance to go on the offensive with a combo. Combine this with the effects of Unique Ability 1 to really put on the pressure after enemy character switch. There's almost more yellow text than there is white text. Alright, Nox enemy back to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike attack. Chainable with the blue. The following effects occur when changing cover. Restore on key by 30%. Inflict enemy with the attribute downgrade. Minus 10% to strike and blast arts power. Uh, minus 20% to special move, ultimate, and awaken arts power. Greatly charges on unique age every time hit with an enemy's arts attack while this character is on the field. I think greatly means he only needs 5 hits. Doesn't greatly mean he only needs 5 hits? The following effects occur when Unique Gauge is full. Randomly destroy one of your own cards to draw a special move card. Activates twice. Restore own health by 25% and key by 50. Cancel own attribute downgrades under normal conditions. Increase your Dragon Ball by 1. Randomly... Okay. What the hell? Uh, GT is now the tag of I get rush and you don't. Every single one of their main star units not only destroys a Dragon Ball, but they're able to get one super damn easy. GT is the only tag that can rush you in like five timer counts now. Randomly destroys two enemy cards, reduces enemy key by 50, reduces enemy vanish gauge by zero to zero percent, seal all main abilities for 10 counts. This is so strong for a unique gauge. What? He heals 15% showing up. Heals 25% when the unique gauge is procced. Wow. The following effects occur when the enemy switches characters while this character is on the field. Restore on key by 30. Randomly draw at most two new cards if you have three or fewer. 50% to strike and blast starts damage inflicted from five counts. Inflict enemy with the attribute downgrade minus one to card draw speed and plus 10% to the damage received for 10 counts. Shorten ally sub count by 5 when enemy activates an ultimate arts, awaken arts, or rising rush while this character is on the battlefield. Wow, this is a lot of kit for a tag that already has a lot of unit. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, first impressions. Wow, this character is really, really strong. Yikes. Um, I don't even know what to say. I think GT's this year's universe reps, maybe it's appropriate given they didn't see buffs for a long time. But, uh, two things, two important things are going to have to happen. One, how easy can you charge a greatly charges unique gauge? I'm pretty sure that's five cards or six cards. It's one of those two. And number two, what kind of unit is uh, Super Baby 2? He kind of reads as a defense type, but he has attributes of an offense type, so I don't know what he is. The reason why that's important is because of his stats. If, if Baby ends up having very impressive stats, then with this entire kit, boy oh boy, GT is definitely the best tag in the entire game. Because holy schmoly, this is a lot of kits for a tag that has a lot of unit. So, you let me know in the comment section below. Again, I don't want to gauge the unit just based off the kit because some other factors are important too. But I think in terms of typing and what he does, man, GT getting all the love this year. But you let me know in the comment section below what you think. But until next time, guys, peace.